welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie before we get started heavenly father i come before you humble giving you thanks and giving you praise holy spirit i ask that you word my mouth in the mighty name of jesus touch the people ears to hear and the heart to receive your word oh god in the mighty name of jesus lord god my prayers that your people will not believe everything that they see nor hear but they will take it back to you and see what you have to say about a thing or a situation in the mighty name of jesus if someone is watching that doesn't know you, my prayers for their salvation. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. With that being said, if it's anything about this channel that you like, please subscribe. If it's anything about this video that you like, hit the like button. With that being said, let's move on. Okay, I come on to share this dream. In this dream, and I had two of like two of, two of the same dreams. So I had a dream about me holding a baby in my lap. This baby was two-tone in color it was white white like whitish cream and brownish like a reddish like a uh, little brown but like reddish color now today i had another dream of me and a baby in this dream it was me and the baby again and the baby once again was two-toned and also my daughter was in this dream but she was in this dream as a little girl so it was my daughter in the stream and this baby, this two-toned baby. This baby again, two-toned. But this time she had, this baby had freckles cover, covering her body. It was freckles all over her body. But more in her face than what was on her body. As I was cleaning up, as I was cleaning her up, that's when I noticed more freckles on her face. It's like um, the freckles almost began to cover her face. When I changed her, I noticed she was a girl. But as I covered her her bottom up with a pamper, I noticed a male part out of the pamper. Out when I came out of that dream, that second dream, what was in my spirit was um, Esau and Jacob. So I went over to Genesis to read about Esau and Jacob. So we're gonna go to Genesis 25, and we're gonna start at 21. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was childless. The Lord answered his prayer and his wife Rebekah became pregnant. The babies jostled each other within her and she said, why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord. So she went in prayer before the Lord. The Lord said to her, two nations are in your womb and two peoples from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other, the, and the older will serve the younger. 24, when the time came for her to give birth, there were twin boys in her womb. The first to come out was red, and his whole, and his whole body was like a hairy garment, garment. So they named him Esau. After this, his brother came out with his hand grasping Esau's heel, pulling at Esau. So he was named Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when Rebekah gave birth to them. Let's get back to the meaning of the dream. Okay, the baby was two-toned, brown, like a brown, like a reddish brownish, and also like a cream, two-toned. So the two colors on the baby is two nations, country, country. This country is divided, is separated from within by conflict and division. My daughter, when she was young, being in a dream while she was young, that signifies what's going on with our country started a long time ago. The things you see happening and the things that's going on, it didn't just happen because of someone a few years ago. This goes way back when this country was divided into Democratic and Republican. So this country is divided. When this country was divided into two, that's when the problem started. Then involved other countries. So once they split this country to half, then the doors was open to other countries. Now, all these demonic doors are open with other nations slash countries coming through them. Freckles, the freckles represent the sin in this country. More freckles is, no, more freckles 
showed up on the baby face, almost like to cover it up. The face of this country being covered up by sin. The change of the gender as I was changing a pamper is gender changing. It's one of the biggest sins in this country. This is what God was revealing to me. And it's no longer being covered up. God don't want the sin covered up. He's exposing sin. God not allowing it to be covered up any longer. But God is coming to deal with it all. That's what he began to tell me as I was typing about this dream. Judgment. One nation. This is how he's dealing. This is how he's dealing with this nation. With this world. Is through judgment. One nation under God. Individual. This is what he put in my spirit. One nation under God. Individual. With liberty and justice for all. Meaning. No division. No separating into parts. Incapable of being divided. This country was built. This country was built under God. So this country shall be operating in one nation under God. Meaning the leaders, the leader of this country should be under God. And if this lead, the leader is under God, then it spreads down to the people. So it's one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So if we have lead a leader, a leaders that is seeking God, this country will not be in the mess that it's in right now. So God, he's judging this country. He's, he's taken down and he's going to put up who he wants to be where. As he's making the changes, he's making the changes according to what he wants done on earth according to what's in heaven. So it's one nation under God, meaning our leader should be serving God. Our leader should know God because this nation was built under God. But this nation is now out of control. This nation been out of control since it's been, since that division. Something is divided, it's gonna fall. A house divided will fall. So if the house is divided, what, what you think is happening to the people that's under the house? It's chaos, no control. Everything is out of order. This country is in trouble, but God is coming to turn it around. He's going to turn it around. Cause just like um, Jacob and his brother, just like Jacob pulling at, pulling on Esau's heel, heel, heel of his foot. That's what Democrats and Republicans doing. They pulling at each other to pull each other down. That's all it is to pull each other down because of that separation. But if it was one person under God that was running the country, there would be no fight like that. But since we're divided, since this country is divided, there's a fight, there's a struggle, there's a power struggle. So within the power struggle, each side is pulling each other down and trying to get on top. But God, what he's coming to do, what he's here to do is to make the wrong right according to heaven. He's coming to redirect traffic. He coming to put everything and everyone in its proper place. Because a house that divided, a house that is divided, it will fall. 